This is a tutorial on how to tap to change objects visibility in Effect House. So to start with, let's go to our hierarchy and add some spheres. So on the 3D sphere, and let's just copy and paste that using on a Mac command C V. So we've got three. Let's look at the first one. Let's go over here into the scene, drag it out. Got the second one in the middle and the third one let's drag it out to the right let's shift select them all and move them back a bit so we can see them and next let's go down to the visual scripting area and let's add a tap to change so right click tap so we want screen tap and what we want to add next is a counter so we want to connect this green execution to the increase so that every time we tap they will increase and let's change this to value at the bottom to something really high so that will never reach it just put in a bunch of nines it goes up really really high so it's not really something you need to worry about reaching the limit and from here what we want to do is we want some set visibility nodes so if you right click again type in set visibility so what this takes in it takes in this execution it takes in an object which is the one over here in the hierarchy and then a boolean value which is what we're going to use to set its visibility let's zoom out a bit give it some space so let's first turn these all off and then shift select them all and drag them in got one down here one here and one here so let's connect to here, let's command C, command V, this visibility node so we have enough for each one. Connect the others up and let's connect this execution line up so that it will complete each action. And next we want to take this number so that we have the count value and we want to put it into a modulo so what that does is it divides the count by a number and gives you the remainder so we have three objects so let's put in three so that when it's zero counts it will if we add it equal so we can see the value it will give you zero so let's connect that equals into the value because it gives you a boolean so it compares the value to whichever one you type in here and let's copy and paste this again one for the middle one and one for the last one and in here let's type in one and two let's connect them up and what we want to do is we want to take this modular output and put it into the value one of each of these equals so that we can compare it so let's try and click the screen As you can see it goes up to one here here and here and then it will go up to two but what you can see at the moment is that when we restart the first one doesn't show up so actually what we need to do is connect this start into the reset so that way it will always start at zero so now the first one shows up automatically let's refresh and it's there so let's click second one click third one so you can see the values in these equals and the modulo 
same value being passed through, changing as you tap. I also wanted to show you how you can just easily add some more objects and continue to cycle through. So here we've got five spheres. I'll click show the second, third, fourth, fifth, back to the first. And all you have to do is add more of these set visibilities and connect them up with the execution line and drag them in like we did for the first three. And what you want to remember to do is go to this modulo and change it to the number of objects that you have so that it will cycle through each one of them. And that is all there is to it.